In all of my work, there's a strong sense of abstraction. I want the foundations of my images to be suggestive and expressive. I want to create images that give us an opportunity to simultaneously look out into the world and into ourselves. By never losing sight of the fact that we're looking at a flat image of a deep world, the illusions it creates and the suspension of disbelief we enter into, we're reminded to look at ourselves looking. The psychic space created for greater awareness is the heart of my images. You can feel this strongly in my image alignment 36. When I made this image, the last rays of sun to strike the valley of fire were hot. It had been a very long day since the first rays had begun to warm the Nevada desert, and I wouldn't have it any other way. The place was magical. Since I'd arrived, fabulous forms continued to unfold at my feet, all day. They flowed out across the spaces between distant mountains. They fell down precipitously and closed into narrow canyons. They rose up, lifting into soaring buttes and spires. Countless veins crossed and bled into one another, sometimes red, sometimes orange, sometimes yellow, and sometimes white. The earth pulsed with life. Even the shadows were warm and moving, moving fast. So I needed to move fast too, before the sunlight was gone and the twilight descended. There was so much within sight, and yet I couldn't tear myself away from what was within reach there was still too much to be discovered, right here, right now. The rich patterns surrounding me drew me in closer and closer. There were others nearby me, but I didn't hear them. I had entered that state of being when time slows and the world falls silent. It's a strange silence when you hear the sound of your blood and your breath, and in the spaces in between them, another elusive sound I flowed with the flow of the earth. On waves of stone, the waves of light buoyed me until the waves of shadow overtook it all. Did I know what this image would become once I made the exposures? I had a good idea, but I knew I wouldn't know the final outcome until it was finished. What I didn't know then, that I know now, is that all of the virtual petroglyphs in this image and other companion images in the same series are drawn from scientific diagrams used to visualize the structure of our universe, from the atomic to the galactic. And this image of subatomic particle trails is the only one that is photographic. In one way, it's a photograph of a photograph. In its own way, it's about photography itself. And in every way, it's about perception. <laughs>